My dear friends, I thank God for giving this precious time to be together in His presence. So many times we don't understand how privileged we are to get every day and every moment on the face of this earth. It is nothing else but the grace of our Heavenly Father. So we should never take it light all the opportunities that we get to praise God. God gave us the ability to express our heart before Him in so many ways. One such beautiful ex expression is singing. So it becomes more beautiful when we sing songs of praises to our living God. So it not only becomes our expression to God, but also a tool to bring others into the glorious presence of God. So we are praying that the CDC program becomes a platform where all of us come together and experience the love, hope, joy and peace that comes only from our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us pray that this program will also help us to get ready for the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to talk about Nehemiah and try to learn some lessons from his life. One important thing that we want, uh, we, we want us to learn together is about avoiding the tactics of the enemy with godly discernment and being focused on the calling of God. Nehemiah is a great example to learn about it. So Rena and I will share our thoughts right after our first song. This song is a very comforting song, especially when we go through troubles and trials. When we go through difficult times, one common feeling is to have someone with whom we can just share our hearts. We many times fail to find someone like that. But this song is introducing someone that you can always trust and his name is Jesus. So listen to the song and be blessed. ആശ്വാസമേകുവനീമതിനാഥ <laughs> എന്നും കൂട്ടായ നീക്കിനി നീ മതിനാഥ സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാകുന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാകുന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം ശ്വാസം നീ തന്നെ എന്നും ഉള്ളം തകരുമ്പോൾ അറിയുന്ന നാഥ അഗതികൾക്കാശ്വാസം നീ തന്നെ എന്നും ഈ മരു യാത്രയിൽ ജീവൻ നുറവയ നീല്ല എങ്കിലൻ ജീവിതം ശൂന്യം ഈ മരു യാത്രയിൽ ജീവൻ നുറവയ നീല്ല എങ്കിലൻ ജീവിതം ശൂന്യം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാകുന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാകുന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം ഞാനൊന്നു തളർന്നാൽ നീ എന്നെ താങ്ങും കണ്ണു നിറയുമ്പോൾ തുടച്ചിടും നാഥ ഞാനൊന്നു തളർന്നാൽ നീ എന്നെ താങ്ങും 
ഈ ലോക യാത്രയിൽ കരുണയിനൊളിയ നീയില്ല എങ്കിലൻ ജീവിതം ശൂന്യം ഈ ലോക യാത്രയിൽ കരുണയിനൊളിയ നീയില്ല എങ്കിലൻ ജീവിതം ശൂന്യം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാഗന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാഗന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം ഞാൻ കാത്തിടും പ്രിയനെ ഏഴയം എനിക്കെന്നും പുതുബലം തരിക മനം പുതുക്കി ഞാൻ കാത്തിടും പ്രിയനെ ഏഴയം എനിക്കെന്നും പുതുബലം തരിക ഈ ധരണിയതിൽ കരുതലിൻ തണല നീയില്ല എങ്കിലൻ ജീവിതം ശൂന്യം ഈ ധരണിയതിൽ കരുതലിൻ തണല നീയില്ല എങ്കിലൻ ജീവിതം ശൂന്യം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാഗന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം സ്തുതികൾക്കു യോഗ്യൻ യാഗന്ന ദൈവം ആരാധിപ്പാൻ യോഗ്യൻ വല്ലഭനം ദൈവം ബുക്ക് ഓഫ് നെഹമായ is the last historical book in the bible this is the story of god using a man named nehemiah to bring restoration to judah this is the story that tells us what god can accomplish through someone who is willing to do what it takes to get the job done this is not the story of a coward this is the story of someone who is determined focused sacrificial and selfless Many times we want to see great things happening while we continue to live in our own zone of comfort. That is a false expectation. Are you expecting a positive and drastic change in your life? Be ready to move with God to a life of discomfort and unknowns. Even though this story talks about the rebuilding of the city of Jerusalem, this is very much applicable at a very personal level to every one of us. So let's take the next few minutes and try to learn some good lessons that we can apply in our personal life. The first time that we see Nehemiah is as an adult serving in the Persian royal court as the personal cupbearer to the king. That itself shows the greatness about Nehemiah. He has to be absolutely a man of integrity and character in order to become cupbearer in a foreign land. If we remain faithful in everything that comes in our way God will continue to lift us up and honor us before the world. The story begins when few folks from Judah came to see Nehemiah and share the situation back at home. Nehemiah's reaction to his friends itself tells us a great deal about what kind of a man he was. His friends said those who survived the exile and are back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates have been burned with fire. Nehemiah started weeping about what he heard. He started mourning, fasting and praying. You know, this is a precious, genuine response to have when we hear about the pain and suffering of our fellow beings. Feeling the pain, understanding the situation and the deep desire to do something about it. When we hear someone in need, Do we feel the pain that they are going through? We many times express our sympathy through just few words and pull ourselves back into our comfort zone. Nehemiah continued to fast and pray until king noticed the sadness in his face. God started doing something miraculous to address the genuine burden that Nehemiah had in his heart. He definitely wanted to do something about his homeland but certainly not sure how or what. God moved the heart of the king and gave him everything that he needed to go and do the restoration of the land. Can we relate to Nehemiah? The need will be different, but feeling that pain of desperation about something, our society, our neighbor, our home country, maybe about someone within our house. 
We are feeling the pain, but we are desperate since we don't know what to do or how to do. Nehemiah is a great example to teach us what to do at those moments. Fast and pray. God will supernaturally open the provisions to help you do something about the need at hand. God has positioned you where you are for a time such as this. God brought you to the point that you are in now, ahead of time, so that you can be a tool to bring an answer to the problem you or your dear ones are facing. Nehemiah started his journey to his homeland with a specific task in mind, restore the land. Even though he got all the initial needs, was the rest of the job easy? Never. So Rina is going to walk us through some of the challenges that Nehemiah faced and some lessons learned right after our next song. தெய்வத்தின் புத்திரனாசு பூஜாதனாய் ஸ்னேகிப்பான் க்ஷேமிப்பான் சௌக்கியம் நல்கிடுவான் ஜீவிச்சு மரிச்சவன் என்னே ரக்ஷிப்பானாய் என்னும் ஜீவிக்கும் நாவன் என்னை கருதா தான் வாழ்கையார் ஆகுலமில்ல நாளையம்ம பீதி இல்ல பாவியெல்லாம் தன் கையிலந்தோர்த்தால் ஆயத்ர தன்யமே லோக ஜீவிதம் தான் வாழ்கையால் ஆகுலமில்ல வேண்ட 
you all again this week let's continue with the story of nehemiah nehemiah reached jerusalem to rebuild the city wall that was ruined by the enemy in the book of nehemiah chapter 2 verse 13 the first step that he decided to do was to inspect the city wall and get an idea about the damage he decided to keep this as a secret until the strategy was finalized Many a times Satan will try to destroy the passion that we have in our heart even before we take the initial steps towards its fulfillment. So, let's be wise and totally depend on God's counsel. Nehemiah and his team started working on the wall. Each group took different section of the wall so that work can be completed quickly. So the enemy came to know about the work that is happening. and they could not rest when things started falling in its place they were greatly displeased even in our life as long as the enemy sees that we are broken and confused there is no problem the moment we trust god and move towards the divine purpose of god devil will become restless there are different tactics that enemy used to stop this work of rebuilding the wall We will talk about the first tactic today and then God willing we will continue the rest in the coming weeks. Sanballat and Tobiah were the leaders of the enemy camp. When they saw that Nehemiah and his group is attempting to rebuild the wall, they started mocking and ridiculing as if nothing is going to happen. They sought to bring discouragement through criticism. Discouragement is such a powerful weapon because it is somewhat the opposite of faith. So being a child of God, do not allow yourself to be run down by the critics, but be sensitive to God's voice even in the midst of criticism. If God has given you a vision and you are at a point doubting whether you can do it or not, let me tell you, ask God for spiritual wisdom. and discernment to keep your mind focused only on that god given vision making us feel that the task at hand is impossible to do it's a big tactic of the devil nehemiah's response is a great lesson for us to how to tackle the enemy at this point he responded to sanballat and tobiah saying the god of heaven will give us success we his servants will start rebuilding but as for you you have no share in jerusalem or any claim or historic right to it he countered by telling the enemy what they are not and what they don't have he ignored their discouragement and criticism instead he proclaimed his confidence in god he didn't put the work on hold to deal with them rather his focus was on his task Sanballat and Tobiah thought they have an upper hand being servants of the king but remember Nehemiah was a servant of the king of kings so dear ones stay focused and overcome all discouragements and criticisms with spiritual discernment do not be defeated by the tactics of the enemy 
So let's move on to the last song for today. Stay blessed. Vartin, Vartin, Yesu Rekshagane Vartin, Padin Thande, Alpudha Snehathe, Arthi Dunnu, Mahatva Devadu Denma, Kirti Pintan, Vishutha Namathe, Thanma Kele, Idayan Pole Kakkum, Tan kai gali wahi kuno sada vartin vartin kartan ma mahatum vartin kirti pintan vishuddha namate Vartin, Vartin, Yeshu Rekshagane Vartin, Papi Gelkai, Pade to Marichu, Kartan Para, Nithi Rekshayan Pratyasha, Kusheria, Yeshu Vartidin, Klesha Mella, Sahichador to Stotram, Chayvin Thande Alpudha Snehavum Vartin Vartin Kartan Mamahatum Vartin Kirti Pintan Vishuddha Namate Vartin, Vartin, Yeshu Rekshagane Vartin, Vanor Vartin, Hosanna Paduvin, Varum Neshu Rekshagane Numen Nekim, Varike Purohida Rajanai, Logatim Jeju Varum Neshu, Manam Sekti Kartanulla the Loo Vartin Vartin Kartan Mamahatum Vartin Kirti Pintan Vishutanamate So let's uh, close our eyes, spend a few minutes in prayer before we close the program. Father God, we just want to acknowledge how great you are. We want to just acknowledge how loving and how caring you are. And we know that um, your presence in our life makes a lot of difference. Many times we take on our own challenges in our own way, in our own strength, in our own wisdom. And thank you for teaching us the lesson that no matter how big that challenge is, no matter how big the task is, if we obey according to your word, according to the provisions that you are giving in our way, Lord, there is nothing that is impossible in our life, O God. No matter how big the mountain seems to be, no matter how big that trouble seems to be, no matter how big the challenge seems to be, Lord, if you are there with us, everything is possible. Thank you for giving us that beautiful lesson through the life of Nehemiah. Lord, we pray that you will give us that heart like the heart that Nehemiah had. When we hear the, 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 the situations that my, our dear ones are going through, our country is going through, different parts of the world the people are going through. Lord, give us that heart that will feel that burden and be in your presence to do something about it, O God. It may be a very small thing. It may be a very minor thing that we can accomplish. But whatever it may be, however small, however big that you are putting in our life, help us to just hold on to that task with our whole heart, knowing that you are the one who is letting us do it, O God. And help us not to just look at our circumstances, our resources, and anything in our life and just back off from it, O God, when we receive a task from it. Give us that faith. Give us that courage. Give us that that, that faith to just hold on to it, O God, so that you can accomplish that task through our lives. 
Lord, it is not our strength. It is not anything that we have or our own, or our own strength of God, but it is wholly you, O Father. So we just want to trust you. We want to just wholeheartedly just worship you at this time, O God. I pray for all my dear friends who are watching this program. No matter what kind of task that you have given in their life, Lord, give them the courage to face it with your strength, O God. I pray that right at this moment, if there is any element of fear, if there is any element of doubt in their life about what they are about to do, Lord, Lord, I pray that you will just take it out of their mind and fill those wake, those voids with your strength, with your love, with your promises of God. Thank you again for giving us this wonderful time in your presence to sing songs and to just meditate from your word of God. Give us a great week. Help us to just live every day trusting you, O God. Help us to just shine forth the light that, come, that comes from you to this dark world that is around us, O God. We pray for everyone who is suffering. We pray for who, everyone who is going through pain and, and, and sickness and a lot of agony, O God. We pray that you will just give your peace that, that passeth all understanding so that everyone be will be able to just enjoy the peace and the love that you give in their life of God. Thank you again for this wonderful time. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Our God is the sovereign God. You know there is no one like Yahweh. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. If this God is with us there is nothing that needs to be afraid of. And if this God assigns you for a task he will give you everything that you need to get it accomplished. That does not mean life is easy. Enemy will make every attempt possible to put you down and pull you away from the task. Let's not give up. Let's not get disheartened. Let's declare to the enemy who our God is. Let's celebrate the victory of our God has already won for us. If God is with us, who can be against us? So we are praying that God will help every one of us to stay focused on the task that is ahead of us. That's it for today. See you all again next Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Stay blessed.